hello good evening welcome to the part two of BDD Cucumber Framework it will be very basic but if you understand BDD Cucumber the basic one it will help you to understand the advanced level of BDD Cucumber also all right uh, let's recap the first uh, part of BDD Cucumber where we discussed about the uh, very uh, basic theories that we should know before we start BDD Cucumber all right so first thing we should know what is BDD Cucumber we already discussed I just want to recap them uh, so that it will help us while we are doing practical and working step by step from scratch to create the framework from beginning to end okay so what we have to do we have to start with feature file actually mm. and feature file is an entry point to the cucumber tests it's a file where a software development engineering test will describe tests in descriptive language called Gherkin. Gherkin is simply English-like language. Then what we have to do, we have to work with step definitions. Okay, and step definition when as that runs the feature file, Cucumber would execute the step definition methods mapped linked mm, with the steps okay now uh, we have to know what is the glue code glue code contains the location of feature files and the package containing the corresponding step definition files all right and it glues the feature files with the step definition files and glues both with the cucumber runtime it also specifies the format in which the test results will be rendered. All right, and what is JUnit? Third, we need uh, JUnit test runner because uh, in Cucumber, we don't have main method uh, using which we can execute the tests. Okay, so to run the test, we need a class that is a JUnit test class. We have to create it okay and cucumber test runner class is one of the many mechanisms which using which a software test engineer or QA engineer or software development engineer in test can run cucumber feature file the test runner class that will use in this article is a JUnit um, runner class and uh, finally uh, we have to follow these steps seven steps okay uh, first step we have to create a project with maybe and in the second step we have to configure the task environment with necessary dependencies from in vn repository in palm.xml file and in the third step what do we have to do uh, this this is example of uh, bdd cucumber form.xml file just i can uh, show you for a couple of seconds and uh, then what do we have to do actually we have to then work with the feature file create feature folder create a feature with dot feature extension okay uh, and write the test scenario in Gherkin syntax like given when then where given contains a precondition when contains with action and then the outcome okay in feature file uh, in screenshot uh, we can see here feature file um, is the feature uh, 
the web application uh, software that we are going to test and test scenario exactly what we are going to test okay and the given is precondition that the user opens the browser and when is always uh, the action part as i told you earlier when enter url like http facebook.com or amazon.com ebay.com and enters registered username and password and click on the login button the user must successfully log in uh, into the web application okay then what we have to do in the fourth step we are working with step definitions uh, create step definitions i can show you uh, example of step definitions okay then creating JUnit test runner we will come to know what is it then execute the test and preparing the report is the last uh, I can show you how we can prepare our reports okay uh, let's now open the um, I just and again when we hit back control M it will minimize and maximize okay now what we are going to do we are going to create a webin project okay so I click on I go to file first go to file then create project okay project and we are creating maybe project first step is creating maybe project now let's also keep it open so that um, we can also follow the steps one by one uh, for your better understanding okay now step one is creating maybe project okay let me let me uh, create the maybe project uh, so maybe in project then click on next and um, maybe in project is being created okay click on next and I name a cucumber with let me cucumber but I say BDD cucumber Tutorials. Okay. And BDD Cucumber. And artifact ID. BDD already exists. Okay. And I click on finish. Look at the group ID is BDD Cucumber and artifact ID is Cucumber Tutorial. Okay, and package is BDD Cucumber Tutorial. Actually, we don't need it. Uh, I will delete it when it will be created and we will create uh, the package uh, once again. By ourselves. Okay, so the project should be here. We say Cucumber Tutorial, this one let me extend this cucumber tutorial this this project is our one so this is our project okay this is the project folder stru structures up to here okay uh, usually in real world environment the developers work with the source uh, slash main slash java and source test Java here the testers usually works I want to delete it BDD cucumber okay and I will create again the package from the very beginning okay uh, then first what we have to do just we created a 
maven project okay then in the second step preparing test environment prepare and configure test environment with necessary uh, dependencies from maven repository in form dot xml okay uh, what is form dot xml so right here okay this one mm, let us close all this mm, it will be a little quick so that we can move very quickly okay all right now uh, this is uh, our palm dot xml and we have also another palm dot xml from uh, the other mm, uh, framework so i want to just copy all the dependencies from previous project to save our time but i will show you how you can bring all the dependencies okay i will uh, provide you Actually, J unit we we have already J unit. I'll take from here. The first one is Cucumber Core. Second one is Cucumber Java. Third one is Cucumber J unit and Cucumber JVM Devs. Uh, then Cucumber Reporting. Then Garkin. Then Mojito All. Then Cobotura. Uh, selenium java guava uh, all these uh, dependencies i just copy then go back to our project right here okay we see uh, this is our as uh, we have already j unit so dependencies are here and you see dependencies this is opening tag and dependencies Closing tag and all these tags are inside the project. There is opening tag in the project and also closing tag of the project. And we can paste here. Okay. Now let me show you from where we can get all these dependencies and how we can uh, copy them and bring into the project. Say, for example, I want to bring this uh, 12225 uh, cucumber code so what i have to do i have to just uh, take this cucumber code definitely if you work in a project your project lead or task lead will give you um, a written document where you can find all these necessary dependencies um, a list of dependencies and uh, when you start creating a framework you can just follow the steps okay now let's go to um, mvn repository and just i press enter and maybe in repository is right here okay just write cucumber core and click on search and cucumber jvm core cucumber jvm core there are two but we are using info cukes just click on cucumber JVM core. and we are using the version 1.2.5 click here and just click once again here and just and copy then just go to your project and paste it um, right here okay so this one not necessary dependencies I have already cucumber core so I have to remove it actually whatever de dependency you need just take the name and look at the version go to maven repository and everything is there 
and just bring one by one okay thus you can uh, collect your necessary dependencies software jar files into your project okay now we have already brought all the necessary dependencies into the palm xml okay now what we can do fine what i can do is i just control press control s and and when i press control s let me check what's wrong or dependencies and project it's twice okay so i have to remove it okay and then just control s and you see uh, the building workspace all necessary uh, software are being installed okay and it's done okay so we already worked with the second step that is preparing test environment okay mm, with necessary dependencies from mvn repository into pom.xml file okay then go to uh, third step okay uh, these are the screenshots uh, from my previous project just to show you how look like the dependencies especially for the newbies okay then go to step three in step three we start working with the feature file create features folder okay then create feature file inside the folder with dot feature extension and write the features of the application tested okay now uh, let's go back and start creating this is our project right button click okay right button click then go to folder click on it create a folder and I name it features okay then hit on finish and inside the feature folder again right button click and I open a feature file. Okay. So I will write a name it login functionality tests dot feature. Okay. So our extension will be dot feature. Okay and click on finish once it is created we can see the logo of the uh, cucumber okay it's working it takes a couple of seconds maybe 10 seconds 15 seconds right and I already written the feature files okay and just just let's copy them to save our time okay we already discussed what is a feature what is scenario what are mm, given when and and then okay I copy it and you see this is a cucumber sign and this is our uh, feature okay so what I can do I just paste what we are going to write inside the feature file so I start with feature you see feature then colon then write about the feature the feature you are going to test of any web-based application or software I just say login functionality test of u test okay test of u test uh, 
web application. So for example, now UTest is the largest uh, platform for the uh, software testing for software testers around the world. More than uh, 450 thousand uh, software testers work from home uh, around the world they work together okay and if you just uh, know some basic manual testing and couple of basic uh, framework then you can also sign up and start working at the end of the video I will give you uh, the link for sign up if you know uh, the core concept of software testing you can also start working from anywhere in the world okay um, when I need extra money I work there and among 400 uh, 400 uh, 50,000 software test engineers uh, my position is like now 122 122 that's not bad right okay now scenario what you can do you can write like this uh, okay. or you can uh, make it a little maybe um, like this you can write okay now now this is the feature login functionality test or login test of uTest web application and you can also write description like this test okay test the web app with correct Shows and you can also test with incorrect credentials. Actually, scenario scenario can be um, n number in a feature. Okay, so you can also pick another scenario, and that is login functionality test with incorrect. with bad credentials and uh, incorrect credentials okay so and again what you can do you can just copy the steps the first one is uh, positive and the second one is negative test okay so you can say given user opens browser go to this click on sign in button then enters incorrect okay, incorrect username incorrect password okay incorrect password then user must not Login because he or she is providing incorrect credentials. Now you can also take another scenario with uh, incorrect username but but correct password. Again, uh, correct username and um, incorrect password, uh, or it's a blank username, blank password. So you can create n number scenarios within the uh, one feature okay so uh, I'm not going to work on it just if you understand and can work on it and you can also work uh, on the second scenario or n number scenarios if you know how to work on it okay so first try to understand it's not a rocket science even people learn rocket science okay? it's 
very understandable that you have to concentrate and try to understand what I'm going to do. Now this uh, steps in the feature file should be line by line met with the step definitions okay and it should be glued together okay mapped together between this feature file and step definitions we are going to run okay so i create a, a package okay so if you go to the next step there is creating working with step definitions creating step definitions okay so create package okay then step definitions okay then bind and map the scenarios with step definitions with field files okay now let's go back and what i'm going to do i just create a package and name it step step definitions okay step definitions now you can name anything but uh, inside it you have to write step definitions it's better to keep the name step definitions you finish and uh, a package has been created now what is package? Package is nothing but a folder where we can create class, we can keep data. Okay, now we create a step definition class. Step definitions. Okay. And then click on finish. And a step definition class has been Class is nothing but a blueprint, a design based on what we can create our object. Inside that class, uh, we will have like uh, instance variables. We will have some methods and functions. Okay, but in general, class is nothing but template. Okay, blueprint. Where? we keep our data and create our methods and functions okay now what we are going to do we are going to map link glued together this feature in the step okay? how just what i will do i will just write button click then go to run yes and we see there is no uh, java application or class where we can click and run this but we have cucumber feature and we can run even the feature okay feature file then i just uh, click on run okay and i'm running this one our step definition but you can run it no problem so I run step definition and it's running okay still you can find the errors but when we will map this feature and the step definition together bind them with glue code okay and there will no more this marks okay so let's go and check and it says what what's wrong okay cucumber runtime error okay let's check what happens let's go to project so I need and this is cucumber tutorial okay and then let's check what's wrong description okay. 
as cucumber feature gherkin okay let's check mm -hmm. the main exception cucumber error person features fine cucumber this one making error right okay we can check the previous project what we did actually. Mm, step definition. I think we are forgetting to keep right the column. And the machine is a little bit slow because the computer is packed with softwares. <laughs> Give me one minute. This one I was telling you, we are forgetting to put the column. Okay, now let's go back and put the column. What is our feature file? This one. Okay. Here you have to put your column. And what you can do, you can just uh, go to the project, right button click. Refresh. Okay. Then go back and run. Post by Gherkin Lex uh, error in on line 13. What is it in line 30? Let's see. And then successfully log in in the U test account. Also, we can run this palm and check whether the build was successful. You didn't clean. The build success. So this is okay. run as cucumber feature and let's check again feature underscore and exception trade mean run time Right, let's run from here. Run this picture file. Run again and check it. Let me go to project again, clean it, clean, right button click, run as, it should be okay by this time.
Cucumber runtime, cucumber exception, error person, feature file. Da -da -da -da. That feature. Okay. Let me try again. It was login functionality test dot feature. Right? The build was successful. I'll just save it again. success so nothing wrong with it mm, https www.users.com user opens the browser okay I think it's fine, nothing wrong. Okay. Run as let me run configurations. This is login functionality tests. Run. Let me take just one space. Let me take one time. Save it and then go to the project right button click and refresh. What I'll do, I'll go to project and clean it again. And then run it again and check what happens. And that's the beauty you see and finally step definition has been automatically created now if you go here this is your feature file feature this is description about the feature what we are going to do here and this is scenario okay and these are the steps and one scenario seven steps and still undefined because it's not has been binded together so what i will do i will take all the snippets codes okay copy then just Go to step definitions and paste here. Okay, I don't need to write them now. Uh, many people in the uh, YouTube, many instructors, many teachers, they have shown to code from the very beginning, right? All the steps, 
and write all snippets okay bind together okay with uh, glue with glue code it'll take time it's better to just run it okay it will automatically generate the snippets and copy it and just paste it, it will save your talk records okay now this comment and the um, this line throw new pending exception you don't need them just take it out you don't need it so delete it i'm deleting everything that i don't need okay then this one i don't need it and these two lines i don't need it so i just delete them okay unnecessary I just keep the necessary snippets codes okay now what i have to do now given import given from cucumber.api.java en import and i import also when okay now cucumber what it did it imported all when 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 because it knows is a part of when so what i will do i will rather keep it more logical with end and also import end okay this is end i already imported end so i don't need to import it in, in, again and finally when okay oh, this is also end Correct the password and click on the login button this is also end and then okay then this is the last one then i have to import it too now what i have to do no no you see when it is glued together and mapped line by line from uh, feature file to step definition okay we create a user opens browser this is uh, method okay method and bind it together with a glue code okay what is it these are glue code used uh, the regular expressions these are regular expressions here okay uh, now when it will meet all this will be disappear okay so now I save it then we what we are going to do we are going to write the step definitions okay one by one first one is uh, given user opens browser how we will open the browser we will write system dot set set system dot set system dot set property where is property and in the key part we put web driver web driver and the driver we are using to test this web application we are going to use gecko driver then dot driver okay and in the value part we put the path of the 
driver okay so what we can do we can just bring the driver from uh, other project go to drivers and I just copy it okay I just copy it so if you don't understand what I am doing uh, I will suggest you to go back to uh, some of the tutorials that we previously discussed about all these things and you will know what we are doing okay don't directly jump to the in cucumber tutorial before you come to framework you have to know how the web driver works how selenium works how you have to know a little bit about java uh, at least uh, at the basic level and you have to know how to find elements okay so my suggestion is please go back and watch a couple of tutorials that we uh, conducted before okay then right button click uh, I will create a folder and I will name it drivers okay. then inside the driver just I will paste that I copy okay. uh, think it didn't copy let's wait a little bit yeah we have to make sure we copied it actually we copied but it didn't copy Yeah, it copied. So I'm taking Gecko driver. You see, Gecko driver. Just right button click, go to properties, and take this path. Okay, the path can be anywhere if you keep your drivers into your uh, desktop or download section. You can just go to the go to the file uh, or folder then just uh, right button click and take the path the way uh, I'm taking okay I just copy it again just to make sure it has been copied then I paste here all right now if you run it it will not run because you don't have main method you have method but you don't have main method to run any java program you need a main method and to run it what you have to do is you have to also create uh, if we go to our step um, this is fourth step step definition then what we have to do we have to map and bind the scenario with step definition class with glue code then uh, step five what you have to do you have to create junit test runner class okay because without a test runner class mm, you cannot run it because you don't have main method so what you have to do just go to source slash test slash java then create a package and name it my test runner okay then hit and finish and then again right button click and inside the uh, package my test runner create a class and name it test runner okay and just it's on finish and here is our test runner now 
what we have to do we have to import j unit so i write run with number dot plus and j unit cucumber cucumber dot api dot j unit dot cucumber has been imported okay and i have to import run with j unit for library okay to build the and and we have seen j unit 4 has been imported then we need also cucumber options so i will write cucumber dot and write cucumber dot plus okay. and I have to import the cucumber options okay actually I don't need it and inside it we have to define all these uh, features and step definitions and if we want to uh, generate report we have to define what report we are going to generate inside the cucumber options right so inside the test runner class there will be nothing actually so what we need is cucumber class uh, run with um, JUNI or and we need cucumber options uh, instructions what we are going to define here okay now first what I will do is if you go to step 5 uh, when we will set it up and uh, then we are ready to execute the test okay then we are ready to prepare the report so in preparing report before we uh, actually run the test what we have to do we have to tell the feature files features equal to we have to tell where is the feature okay. and blue is with step definitions we have to show where step definitions okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to tell uh, step the sorry features is equal to where is features features is right here features is inside the features okay so I just mentioned the features folder and it will be uh, it will understand cucumber will understand that the feature file is inside the feature folder okay we don't need to write the name of the feature file but we will write the name of the folder okay the same way when I'm mentioning the glue I will just mention I want to glue the step definitions what is step definitions inside the step definitions i just write the name of the um, package not name of the class step definitions make sure you are writing the same spelling that you 
created the package okay then if you just run it okay run as now you see you can see JUnit test is there run it now it will invoke the browser because we already mentioned and you see one scenario on <laughs> seven steps uh, passed okay you can see it right but not yet uh, running uh, in a hole because we haven't yet run wrote all the steps okay step definition in Java which one this one okay now uh, what I'm going to do actually it will invoke the browser actually now we are going to tell the browser uh, there is a web driver driver we are going to create a new object driver new and we are using uh, Firefox Firefox driver because we are using Gecko driver Gecko driver is for Firefox okay and uh, we have to import this web driver where is web driver web driver web driver then firefox driver we are importing it it has been imported if you go up and you can see this has been imported okay. and now I will tell the driver driver you go and get okay the string URL that is uh, we are going to test what we are going to test we are going to test the web application of user, user type okay so we are going to test it so I grab this URL okay okay I grab this URL and paste it here now if if you run the test runner what it will do it will invoke the browser okay it will invoke the browser and you see invoke the browser and navigate to utest.com you see it's working fine amazing this is the beauty of selenium and cucumber okay what a beauty what a magic it's a very very powerful tool now uh, actually we work in three steps we created uh, this feature file then run this feature file created a step definition file and uh, step definition class and inside the step definition class we just after running the code generated we copy and paste it here and now we are writing the step definitions okay in Java code and uh, to run this code since we don't have a here main method we have to create a test runner with JNE okay now now you understand how to just keep going okay and writing the code now you know how to find uh, elements uh, how to look at them and just keep going driver dot okay find element find uh, now you see the driver is not working because these are separate methods okay if you want to access this driver from each and every method then what you have to do you have to make it global how you will make global then you have to take it out okay and go to the class level where is the class class is right here right go to the 
class level, put it here and just say driver semicolon. Or what you can do, you can just say driver is equal to null. Both are correct. Okay. Now you see now driver has become a global driver and now you can access them from here too. You see? Now you can say find elements by find elements not elements find element by like by it can be by id by name by xpath by css uh, whatever now you know how to do it right just uh, just i take the id and uh, inside the parenthesis i have to put the uh, value of this id then what I have to do, I have to click on the sign in link. Okay, so I have to click, click. What is sign in link? Okay, so I have to click here sign in link. Okay, so to do it, I have to click. Okay, so to make it happen, what I have to do, I have to take the il il take the element find the elements and locate it a right button click here and click on inspect okay and then click back on sign in okay I see this is sign in this is uh, what is it it's a link yeah link it's a link I can see and here is link text so we can find the element by link text I take I take the text okay rather than finding by ID I say just by Next is this sign in and click okay if you now run it and see whether it can be clicked run the tests click on OK invoking the browser navigating to utest.com web application and click on sign in you see now what do we have to do to go to my account I have to just inspect the elements inspect elements okay then click on this inspector look like arrow we call it inspector okay click back and we can see it has ID and value is username name is username okay I can take either by ID or by name I take by ID okay then I'll just go back and enter the correct username I'll just write driver dot find elements I'm taking by ID okay and ID is username and I'll send please and that is my email okay, we code we test okay at the rate gmail.com say for example and uh, what I will do for the rest I don't need to write it again and again just I can copy okay and copy and paste here okay what is the step 
the user enters correct password I just can copy and I can take again ID but I want to take okay and I have to check it and I'll put my okay. uh, let's go to the application and um, where is it this one right I click on the inspector and then I want to find the elements uh, of password section password field okay I click here and there is password ID is password name is password uh, I'm taking the name this time okay just to show you the uh, different elements okay same keys and it will be the password okay, for example my password is two or die one two three I'm not sure I've <laughs> whatever I hope it's okay and just now go for login button okay so I can just copy it again okay and find element by this time I want to go by export okay and I'll show you how to find the export okay then actually it will be click you have to click on sign button right so I have to click dot click now let's go back and we have to find the elements from for sign in button I click on inspector click back on sign in button and sign in button I want export right button click go to copy and copy the export and it has been copied and I put the export here okay and finally the user successfully log in into the u test how i can uh, how i can uh, make sure it is inside the uh, application many ways we can prove it but i want to assert okay i want to use the assert uh, To validate that we are inside now how we can I do it I just want to say a driver dot find elements by the ID and say get text okay get text get text of what let's see what text we can take say for example um U test U test dot com manually I'm um, logging in click on sign in then I put we code retest at gmail dot com and the password okay click in and I want to find maybe the search or the u test okay u test uh, let me check or i can find the title also actually inspect u test 
what is it let's check new test uh, new test it's a link image link image okay it's an image you test image okay uh, maybe we can also code of conduct we can take it okay so let's find with code of conduct okay and then I click code of conduct code of conduct and what is it code of conduct it's a link you see link and link text is code of conduct so you have to find the, the link text better I say find by link link text and link text is code of conduct okay and we want to get the text and let's store it into a string it will return a string and I can say code of conduct. Okay, code for conduct text. Okay. And what we can do, we can okay and finally what we can do we can assert dot assert equals equals expected is Actual will be COC text. If you are struggling to understand, please go back and watch a couple of videos. Basic level, maybe from one to five, you will come to know what we are doing. Okay, now. All are done. We are set. Now let's run the tests. What we can do, we can maybe go to project and clean this one. Clean. And or you can go to the project and refresh it. You need and it's invoking the browser going to our application uses.com passing the parameter invalid username or pass okay so Saying invalid, okay. I should I forgot?
check check your weapons I'm using I'm not sure Run again. I actually forgot the password. <sighs> okay, it's invalid password, but I think. You understand actually what's happening now. The user couldn't successfully log in because uh, he gives wrong password. Okay, now say for example you are doing negative negative test. Let me show you. Then we have to map it again. Uh, anyway, uh, try with your web application, and it will give you definitely. Okay. Now, the test is failed because we couldn't give the correct credentials. Okay. So it will say fail scenarios, okay, one scenario, steps, seven, six pass, basically. Passed, but one fail, one fail, one fail. The one we couldn't give the password. Okay, now you see it's a little broken. Now these are broken. I want to make it clear. Then what I have to do is I have to just write mono from equal to just write true and it will give you a clean reporting okay so again I right button click go to JUD tests and run it okay all right uh, now you'll see now it's a really readable one scenarios there is no more question marks six passed and one failed okay one step failed because I forgot password anyway you can try with your one okay so I think you understand it and if you practice definitely you will love it then what do you have to do? We have to just write um, go with a reporting. How you can do it? Let's go to the report section. You see, how to generate a report? You have to write format uh, is pretty. Then, if you want HTML report, just write HTML. Okay colon test underscore output or dash output whatever okay so what I can do I can just copy oh, I can copy to this this is screenshot okay we can write or we can copy from you know, different
test runner. So format is equal to pretty. Okay, just like copy it. But what when you practice, please write again and again so that you can remember. Just copy it to save our time. Okay. And which is our project? Our project is this one, Cucumber Tutorial. Okay, where is our test runner? Go to test runner. And then make it even. Okay. So now how many report we are getting actually it depends if your project lead or task lead ask you to generate three reports do it if once only HTML report then just write format is equal to curly braces inside the curly braces write pretty comma HTML if he wants HTML report colon tasks dash output it, this will be the name of the folder where you can find the report and it will come here automatically it will be written and report will be sent okay now you see we don't have any report but after we run this we will find this one one folder and we will find this folder okay and we will find also this folder so we are going to get three reports okay so right button click run JUnit test and you see feature functionality test of the application description invoking the browser navigating to utest.com and finally What's wrong? It didn't click. Let's try again. I have to save it. Booking the browser, navigating to utest.com. Okay. It didn't click on sign in. Okay. Let's check why it didn't. So user click on sign in link unable to locate the element sign in. Okay, let's check what actually we did. Click on sign in, sign in, link text, sign in by link text, and sign in. Let's check sign in, how it is written, sign in. I think it's okay. Uh, if it is necessary, even you can, you can take the spot or you can take if it doesn't work go and just take the spot okay so what I can do I can go here click back and right button click go and copy the spot or CSS spot so I'm taking here export. 
okay uh, this is expert normal index Now, what we can do, we can just run back. Okay. Run the test. Invoking the browser, navigating to utest.com. We run the wrong, wrong one. This is not a test runner. I think we are running this one. Our test runner is this one. Okay, let's check. Utest.com and it couldn't again click. Okay, what's wrong? Let's go back, try with different. We can try with different elements. Let's try with CSS selector. Uh, I take CSS selector. CSS selector. Export with store test selector. Now, let's go to the project and clean it. Then go to test run this one, I believe. And run JUnit test. It's invoking the browser. We'll be getting to the web application uses.com. It's not being able to click. What's the reason? Mm, what we can do? We can say driver the manage what the next slice okay then what I can say driver
implicitly we time yes ten seconds in the unit yes five minutes No. When we uh, say driver manage timeouts implicitly weigh, implicitly weigh means it will weigh 10 seconds. You can define it 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Uh, if necessary to find out the elements okay so i hope it will work now right button click go to test runner invoking the browser navigating to the web application utest.com now this time clicked since we are giving a wrong password it cannot click it but now you can see maximum paths like if you just go to test runner If you go to console, this is not our test runner. Uh, actually, we can see from here also. This one plus, this one plus. The finally, just run it again and see very carefully this is the console look at the console okay this is the console If you go to the console, you can find how many uh, pass and how many fail. You see one fail, then six passed. Okay, seven steps. And even you can run it dry. Okay, means uh, it will internally run the test, but you cannot see it's running. Okay, how we can do it? just you can go here and you can say try run when you run it now it run one skit seven steps okay
and we got the result also but you didn't see it run it didn't show you but it run so if you just go to dry run true it will run internally externally you cannot see it okay this is the beauty of uh, BDD Cucumber I hope you understand guys uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video tutorial see you in the next tutorial bye